Uh, yeah, Gavin here from Hologram Productions. And today, the deep, dark techno of Joseph Ray. <laughs> If you don't know who he is, Joseph Ray is a recent addition to the Anjuna Deep label who has a distinctively dark form of deep house. To reproduce his sound we're going to need very deep bass with very heavy compression on it. We're also going to need drums which are very very dark with a lot of reverb with claps which are tuned down. Then we're going to need some very mid heavy pads, usually sawtooth based with a lot of reverb and compression and you also need to dial in very emotive chord progressions. Dark, emotive and transcendent. Basically, to sum it up, if Burial made Deep House. Analyzing the music on an EQ, you can see that the bass is really high up, beyond 12 dB. The kick has a high sub fundamental and another peak at about 80 Hz. The mid frequencies are pushed very high, which give it that dark tone and a steep roll off at 10,000 Hz to make it very dark. As usual, if you want the samples from this video, you can check them out on my Bandcamp. And if you actually want the MIDI packs for both tracks, you can check both of them out on my website. Links for both of them in the description as per usual. So the first track we'll look at is called Chem X. I found this kick somewhere in a Deep House splice pack. Boosted it using Drum Boss. And it looks quite similar to the reference track when you look on the EQ. Add a high end transient to make the kick punch through better. Traditional 808 clap, drag the start time in a little bit, SMP filter, roll off the highs, turn up the drive, dramatic EQ like this, brutal compressor, Saturn 2, sounds good. We need to make some atmospheric offbeat textures. This is a Foley sample of me flushing a toilet, rolling off the highs and the lows. Driving it through drum bus, turning on some EQ, running it again through Saturn, brutal compressor. This is a random clap sample, transposed down, boosting the lows, putting through brutal compressor again, reverb, roll off the lows and the highs. Top loop from a UK garage pack, overdrive, limiter, auto pan. Sketch cassette to grit the sound up. Reverb. EQ to roll off all of the lows below 2000 Hz. Second shaker, egg sample. Vocoder to make it brighter. Erosion to erode it. Delay to delay it. Turn the volume up. 3000 Hz boost. Just to add more textures to the drums, this is a loop I found from some pack. Ran it through an auto filter, making it dark, running it through a reverb. So it's got that dark texture underneath. Group the drums. Glue, EQ, saturation. To make the bass, let's start with the sine wave. Turn it to sawtooth. Two sawtooths, one detuned. Create a filter envelope so it goes wow, wow. Classic unison with six voices and about 90 amount. Run it through massive vocal. Glue compressor with the threshold all the way down to 40 and then max it out. Then drum bus, multi band compression. So it sounds really heavily compressed. This is the thing which gives it that dark vibe. Sub bass, single sine wave at 37 hertz. Run both basses through sketch cassette, lost tape preset. So it has that anxious dark feeling. All together. Now let's look at the lead ARP. Copy these notes. Wavetable, sawtooth. Envelope pluck. Noise, voices 2, amount 17, heavy glue. 
Valhalla reverb, massive vocal, drum bus, multiband compressor to compress the mids, and you got it. We're going to construct the pad and wavetable, hear the notes. Long attack, long delay, noise, unison, sawtooth. Two oscillators, one detuned, heavy EQ rolling off the mids, and then running it through Valhalla C beams. Again, heavy compression, that's OTT compression. Let's listen to what they all sound like together. Cool. Okay, now we're going to do room 1.5. Now the drums are very similar, same kick, a very similar clap. Tuned down, highs rolled off, using a delay to put it in stereo, run it through a reverb and the same EQ techniques and brutal compression on Saturn 2. This is all very similar to the last track. Yep, that's right boys and girls, I cheated. I just stole the same shaker top from the original track, which I'm trying to imitate, which is absolutely blatant cheating. But I got lazy, so fuck it. For the bass, I'm using Operator, because you can draw in your own harmonics, which is really cool. Great for sound design, this. But these harmonics are pretty close to the original. Sounds too digital. Add chorus to widen it. Bit of reverb, an amp to give it some distortion, utility, put it in mono, glue to basically compress everything, and sidechain it to the kick, and a separate instrument for the sub bass again. So you have bass and sub bass together. All bass instruments grouped together, and you process them using Saturn and sketch tape like last time. Here are the notes for the growl bass. Mono, glide. Shimmer voices 5 amount 70. Sawtooth oscillator 1 and 2. Apply an LFO on the filter. Put some overdrive on this. Roll off the sub and the highs. Apply an audio effects rack. You get a dry signal. Reverb on the wet signal. Glue it down with glue compressor. Push that against the limiter. Also, as a sort of an under bass tom, you can use the same instrument, which you have in the drums. All together. Now let's turn on the Saturn Das Scoop BM and Sketch Cassette. Now it sounds super intense. And with the drums. These bleeps are easy enough. They're just sine wave plucks run through a Valhalla reverb with noise unison, voices seven amount 24, massive vocal reverb. That's it basically. These are the notes for the intro pad, triangle wave, unison, Eight voices, 78 amount, massive vocal reverb. Use the EQ to really calm down those mids. Here's another pad using these notes. This time you use a sawtooth. The same wave as the bass. Push the mids to make it sound dark, heavy glue. 
you get that dark sound straight away. See how deep that sounds? That's all reverb and glue. Just copy what I do on screen. I don't need to talk. You want it to sound like she's screaming into a cavern. That's the key to that transcendent vibe. Okay, let's have a listen to the beginning of the arrangement. a bit harder I could easily have found a shaker that would have worked I just got lazy on the back there Gavin I'm the only person on YouTube who's even attempted to imitate him and I like to think that it was not too bad a job no it wasn't anyway uh, enough rambling if you want to buy the midi pack it's on my website but until then don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time